family. We're so glad you're with us today. Yeah, it's that time of the year. Cookies, cookies, and more cookies. And this is the first of about five of the holiday programs we're going to be bringing to you. And the first week is cookies. Cookies part one, next week cookies part two. And we got lots of people here today making delicious cookies like biscottis and the chocolate chippiest cookies you ever saw in your life. Old fashioned Two old-fashioned cookies, a molasses and an orange. You've got to get these recipes. But let me talk to you. Do you ever have a disaster with your cookies? Like these were like the molasses cookies that we made first. And that's not exactly the way they're going to end up because, you know what, they broke all apart. You couldn't get them off the pan. Sue's going to show us what she learned and how to really make a very good molasses cookie. Plus, we're going to be showing you all the secrets on keeping, you know, we're like four or five weeks away from Christmas, so we need to keep these at their peak. And the way you do them, as you bake them off, you don't wait for two days, three days, and then decide to freeze them. As you bake them off, pull five or six out for all the family to taste them. Then you're going to package them. We're going to show you how to package them. Start getting your tins, get your uh, little zip, uh, I don't know what, which ones these are, but anyway, get these kind of containers. They have a good air. They grip around the top. The lid grips tight. And then when you put them in the freezer, you mark, you mark liver on the outside. <laughs> then the kids don't bother them because they don't ever know their Christ the Christmas cookies. Are put liver, put you know, anything like that, mush, stuff that the kids don't like, and you put them in your freezer, they'll leave them alone. So today, part one of cookies. And you know, even at this point away, I pray that your concentration, your focus throughout this whole time will be on the birthday of Jesus Christ, our Savior and our King. Okay, we'll be back in just a minute to get started with our cookies. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Here's today's at-home hint. When reusing a cooking pan for numerous batches of cookies, try running the bottom of the pan under cold water, but don't get the cooking surface wet. This will reduce the risk of burned bottom cookies. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video or visit our Facebook page. Well, we're here in the kitchen. Sue, glad to have you back. Glad to be back. She's a partner in crime today because she's going to do two great cookies. Get us started, Sue, because we got lots okay. to cover. Okay. okay. What are these called? These are the chocolate chip cookies. Okay. I think we named them Sue's Chocolate Chewy Sue's, Chocolate Chip Cookies. Well, <laughs> Chunks. you start and I'll give you the name. Okay. Sue's Chunky Chocolate Chewies. She made up the name. I didn't. Chunky chocolate chewies. All right, what do we got there? Okay, this is a large chocolate bar. I use the one with almonds. Like a Hershey bar. Hershey, big Hershey bar. Big, okay. The block bar, the big block bar. Okay. It has a lot of chocolate in now, it. Now, in this pan, she already has one of those in the bottom. You can see, and you don't use it without the almonds. You have to have the almonds. It's better well, flavor, huh? Does, yeah, that was just something I did. I, more you, well, yeah, because you're putting nuts in it anyway, right, so you want it to correct. be good. Correct. But we use walnuts, but. Um, okay. This is what I do. I, I have my big bowl. Yeah, that's it. All ready with the nuts and the chocolate. Before you start making the cookies, really? Before I start, I, just so I have it all chopped up. Okay, now she also already has a bag of this. Right. And these are the milk chocolate chips. I what use all in? milk chocolate. Some okay. people prefer the other, but I, I prefer all milk chocolate. Sue, so how many pounds of candy is that in there? Well, you figure what it's got. 12 ounces. 12 and 12, and then uh, pound and pound. another pound. And, uh, There's a lot over of chocolate. Two pounds of chocolate in this recipe. Okay. And the nuts. So, what are they? Just walnuts, There's huh? Three cups of nuts. I'll let okay. you stir that. Yeah, I'll on. do that, sure. I'll start with the, uh, the butter. And I know you've made these even with macadamias, haven't you? Yes, I've used uh. white chocolate with the macadamia nut. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, what do you have in there? Now, this I is making a lot of cookies. My idea at Christmas, if you're making cookies, make a lot because that way you're going to the trouble. Do it up. If you have to do it, like you could cut this in half though, right? I guess you could. Yeah, but this, makes like, <laughs> this makes like seven dozen of cookies. Okay, right, go ahead. Right. So I take the butter. Which is a pound. A pound of butter. Okay. And How two, much sugar? two cups of white sugar. Okay and two cups of brown sugar. Yeah, that one's probably, you're gonna have to break that up, Sue, because that's All righty. When they sit out a while, you know? There you go. 
Well, I'll tell you, if you don't have one of these, these mixers uh, at Christmas time. I don't know how you can make it without uh, that's one. That's the truth. It is the truth. This is a very um, challenging recipe because it gets so full in the bowl. And there's, you're, you're, you're really using a lot of ingredients and right. um, large amounts of well, That's why you have to have a big, sure. a huge bowl to put your chocolate in. Sure. Okay. Okay. So now, how long? You have to let this go for how long? Not too long because that's what we have found. When my daughter makes this recipe, my son-in-law says I make it better, but I think what happens is that she, she beats, beats the tar <laughs> uh, the butter so much, but don't do it too much, but make so sure it's mixed. So it's really mixed. combined the way it should be just Correct. now. Okay, Correct. so that wasn't take, didn't no. take too long. So then I put How many eggs? four eggs. Okay, whip it on. You're gonna add this slowly. Okay. And two teaspoons of vanilla. Vanilla, okay. Everything's two, 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 two. Easy to remember. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Well, you put the soda in there and not in with the flour. Yeah, Interesting. Doesn't okay. matter. <laughs> two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay. A teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then I start with the um, oatmeal. Oatmeal. Now I take five cups of oatmeal, but I put it in a blender or food processor. Okay. Measure it before you put it before oh, you okay. grind it. Okay. And then you put it in slowly. Wow, oh, so this is a fortified cookie too, and you got all that oatmeal going in there. But the horse is like this, right? It's healthy. <laughs> yeah, it's real healthy with five pounds of chocolate. No, but these, these are absolutely great. They're great for a gift. They're great for just to have around. I know you make them for folks in Hershey all the oh, time. Oh, huh? yeah, we have a friend that works in Hershey, and we usually send it in to them. You can see how that's really going to be. Uh, oh. That's right. Okay. okay. You can see how thick it is, and she doesn't even have the flour in the there. The flour's yet. not in there yet. Now this is when it comes becomes a challenge, also because it starts <laughs> flying everywhere. Okay, I'll back off here. I'll stand over here. <laughs> That's all right. But you just you just really want to add that until it gets combined, and that's right. all right, because then she's going to put it in here. Okay. How many cups of flour is that, sir? This is four, four cups of flour and five cups of oatmeal. Okay. Oatmeal powder, huh? Really? Right, yeah. <coughs> okay. <Told you. laughs> yes, you're right. Betty Crocker in the kitchen. Sue, you never always used to cook a lot, did you? Never. <laughs> Why well, I like to think that I had some influence? Because yes, you have. Can I, can I put the uh, brake on this? Let's yeah, you need the brake on. Okay. Oh, I can see it's coming up over. Yeah, you have to you be have careful. To be careful with that. that it doesn't fly. It's all right. We're doing it. Because we still have quite a bit of flour to go yet. More flour. Okay. That's cool. As you can see, this makes a ton of cookies. But you make them a little bit large, so that's right. nice too. You right. make tiny little cookies out of this. With this many um, ingredients, you couldn't make a little cookie. It would have to be. Because you figure there's a whole piece of chocolate right there without anything else. So it's going to be a little bit bigger. Well, like okay. I was telling Patty that this is... Uh, this is not a recipe for wimps because you really, <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of uh, energy to right. get this all mixed in there. Put in there, okay. All right, for time's sake, let's, let's okay. do the next step, okay? Let's go. We have some that we're gonna show you. Wow, that is a lot, and it's thick, huh? Yep. I, I, I tend to stay away because they say that too many uh, chefs spoil the soup. So, you know, I figure if yeah, you start... Yeah, but I need your help today. Oh, okay. I'll be glad to help. Whatever okay. I can do. She's got the glove on. That's important. Use the glove. Okay. Okay. Now, what I do is I only put a little bit of this in at a time because this is the, the also the challenge. You want to hold this, sir? I will. And... Uh, Why is that heavy? It's a big recipe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, let me get a better grip. There we go. Okay. Now, do you do these on, uh, oh, you do that with your hands. Okay. So you, you have to get them mixed in there. Get good. going. Okay, you want to throw some more in here? Sure. Because what happens, it tends to stick at the bottom of this pot. Right. Like we said, uh, <clears throat> things are flying everywhere. The chocolate is. Not to worry, though. We have a cleanup crew that comes in and absolutely, I mean, we wash down the whole kitchen after Sue's done. But it's okay because she <laughs> makes good stuff. <laughs> Okay, we only have a minute okay. here, so. All right. 
And I'm going to clean this out real well. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to put it on the. We're going to put them in the. She's going to shape them. We're going to put them in the oven. Okay, stay with us. We'll be right back. Do you love watching at home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of at home and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of at home. Well, we're back in the kitchen. Sue's cookies are already baking. I have two other good friends here. <laughs> yeah. Becky Johnson over here. That's nice to see right. you, Becky. Good and Mary Ann Skiba, my Italian kumbari. <laughs> okay, we so, are. <laughs> so what would you think a kumbari is going to make? A pescata, right? <laughs> yeah. She's right. making a cranberry. Actually, it's David's mom's recipe, it's, right? Yes, it's David's it's mom's. It's cranberry and it's wonderful. Delicious. And Becky, what are you doing? Old-fashioned orange drop cookies. I love them. My mom's favorite. Yeah, and when you smell the orange after she renders it, like mm. with the orange, oh, it's great. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us what you've already done. Okay, I creamed my uh, two-thirds cup shortening, and I like butter flavor Crisco. Yeah. Okay. Three-fourths cup sugar and one egg. one egg. So we're all ready to add dry ingredients. Okay. So we're going to get rolling on that. We'll just get this off of here. So she's going to do the dry ingredients. Okay, while you're getting that off of there, Mary, tell us what you're doing. Okay. And what I did is, I just to uh, get the time uh, going here. Time element, yeah. Time element. Um, what you're supposed to do, you're supposed, you're supposed to start with your cranberries. You pour the orange now juice are, on that. These are dried, these are dried sweetened. sweetened corn. Okay. Yes, cranberries. cranberries. Okay, and then you take your butter. And this is the thing that you and I were talking about. You've really got to cream that butter. Absolutely. And with the sugar, and really let it fluff up. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Right. You add your eggs, and one at a time. Let them beat and let well. them beat, 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 beat. Absolutely. And then you put in your vanilla. Then you put in your flour. Then you put in your baking uh, powder and your salt. S and you incorporate that slowly. And that's then, what you have. This is what you That's get. your dough. This is that, okay. that dough. Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to do. Is, huh? yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Now I'm going to add uh, the cranberries, the lemon peel, oh, and the nuts. Smells to so it. good. Okay, okay, you're doing that by hand? I'm going to do that by hand right okay, now. Okay, you go. Okay, okay what are yeah. you doing over here? I have stirred in a half cup of fresh squeezed orange, orange juice. juice. Oh, that's the best. And, um, and that looks curly like that, and it always scares people. Can you get in there and see that? Yeah, that mean, does scare you, doesn't it? You think take it off there's of there. something wrong with that because it's curling. But that's but just it's exactly the, the what it's supposed juice. to do. Absolutely. Okay. This is a real fluffy, fluffy batter. Yeah, light. Uh -huh. Which is, you know, don't be concerned about that. That's how it should that's be. So we're going to add our two cups of flour. Okay. And you'll add a little bit of that at a time. And then baking powder, a half teaspoon of everything. Baking powder, baking salt. soda, and salt. Good, okay. It's really easy, really simple. So but you just you, do this a little bit at a time because that lightens exactly. it too. Exactly. Huh? You want to take time to mix that in really, really oh, good. Yeah. And you got to buy sun kissed oranges. Yeah, I think they're the best too because they have the good skin on them, right? Yeah. And, and oranges have been looking bad lately. They have, for <laughs> They've sure. been looking pretty sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you, you got to get California the best ingredients the best. because for an orange cookie, you really want it to taste orangey. And you know, if you use a, mm -hmm. a less a less quality, it does affect the whole cookie. Oh yeah. I, I just think the bad oranges would not be good in that. Okay. They so wouldn't. while she's mixing in that, what <laughs> okay. are you doing? Wow. I mix it all in. Look at that. Isn't Look that lovely? That. Looks so Christmassy. Okay. Then you uh, <laughs> take. Now this is gonna make how many? Well, it says in the recipe five dozen, but it really depends on how thick you how cut you them. How you make them, okay. okay. So then you take, you split it in threes, the dough. Okay. You put it together with your hands. You could put a little flour in your hands, you which like would probably roll, right? be helpful, but anyway, I'm gonna put it right <laughs> here on the tray, and then I'm just going to. Now, wait, do you have this greased, the tray greased? Tr yes, it okay. is, with that, you know, that pan. Spray pan, yeah. okay. Okay. Wow, that is loaded with cranberries. It I love is, it. It is loaded. Yeah, these things, <laughs> these things are delicious. <laughs> Take no, my word for it. It's not the same size as the other. Okay. Yeah. I think I do need some flour dug on you it. You need I some flour? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. flour. This will do it. But remember, folks, to flour your hands. That'll be the best bet. Right. Well, Patty's going to get you a little bit of flour. Okay. Okay, so now what are we doing over here? You okay. just added the last of flour. I added the last of my little ingredients, like my salt and baking powder. Okay. I like to add just a little bit of orange extract. Oh, that enhances the flavor. Yeah. Too. So just, you know, and this is like not measured out. Right. You're just, just putting a little bit in there. Just to give it a little. Yeah. Hoopa. Okay. And it, it, you'll build up your arms doing this, Because <laughs> you have to really work at getting all that incorporated. Yeah. Now, you don't do that Just with the mixer, on. huh? No. Oh. All by hand. And then you um, start uh, dropping it. You can use teaspoons, but I like to use, since this is real yeah. convenient, 
the makes them all the same. ice cream scoop. Makes them all the same. A lot easier. Absolutely. A lot less hassle. So but you want to make there. sure all that flour is incorporated there, right? Yeah. Okay. What's your oven on to bake these? 400, and they're going to bake at exactly eight minutes. Okay. So they don't even 10, get brown right? on the bottom too much, do right. they? Right. You're just going to set this them is a light very cake like. Okay. And uh, then you ice Beautiful. them with a buttercream icing. Okay. So there we are. We're ready to go. Okay. You start doing that, Mary. <laughs> did you get your flour? Yes, I got my flour. She's okay. going to put a little more flour oh, on my hands. She's your hands. There yes. you go. Okay. And then you just pat it down. Now they're supposed to be like what, two, three inches wide? <laughs> And well, how, yes, Arlene, because of time, thick. I've been rushing, but actually, it should look like this one here. Right. That's okay. Okay. It's okay. And then, okay. Okay, and now what do you do go. now? Now I'm going to put it in a 350 degree okay. oven. Let's do that. Let's do it. Okay. I've got all this good cookie on my hands. And here. while you're doing that, I'm scooping. She's scoopy duping. Okay. <laughs> now, what do you have? Parchment paper there? Yeah, it works really great. You know what I like about it? When they come out of the oven, you just pull the parchment paper off and use the pan again oh, without worrying hallelujah. about it. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> and a big amen. Huh? I think God created parchment. <laughs> I mean, you know, they used to write on it, right? Yeah, so. really. <laughs> well, probably not that same kind of parchment, but maybe. Yes. Might be stretching. Okay. okay. So, yeah, we're going to bake these just till they're okay. set. Oh, so you leave a lot of room between, mm -hmm. huh? You'll, okay. you'll bake a... And see how fast that goes. That's oh, not. that's very nice. That's a very good idea. And those come in all different sizes. In fact, I was thinking I have one here. Of course, I can't find it when I'm looking for it. <laughs> but it's smaller than that one, so you can make them smaller. I would oh, think, yeah. wouldn't you? It would be a great wedding cookie. Yes. Like okay. Now you're going to ice these too, right? Yes. Now tell us. Mm -hmm. Let these sit and let's do the icing. Okay. Because we have all of these finished at the end. You'll see. <laughs> While Mary does what she's doing. Okay, I just need to say that once they come out of the oven, they you should... You bake these how long? You bake them for about half an hour. Okay. Okay, 350, and it should get nice and golden brown. And like biscotta this. means twice baked. Twice you know baked, okay. yeah. Because you're Italian, you should know. I'm okay. Italian, I should know, but Go you ahead, know. Honey. Okay, then you slice them, and I slice them about an inch thick because okay. that's the way they're better. But you notice that they're harder to cut when they're thinner. So you want to go a little bit on the thicker side. Go on the thicker side. Then what side. do you do? You then you the take it, and then you... Of course, you use a serrated knife. I have to say that. Right. Then you turn it on its side. Okay. And, and you bake them again for how long? You bake them again, eight minutes on one side, eight minutes on the oh, other. Oh, okay. So these and bake they get, quite a bit, don't they? They do, especially if they're thicker. Right. And they get nice and crunchy and toasty. Okay. It's delicious. And then you're going to put a topping. You're going to show us that later. Okay. And you're over here making your I icing. I am. And this Tell is me what's in it. two cups of confectioner's sugar. Okay. Two tablespoons butter. Okay. Um, you're going to add... Um, you did some orange and uh, yellow there. Red and yeah, yellow. Yeah, I added orange. some food coloring that's nice. for it. pretty yeah. nice, and um, that's that's just really that's all. It. You okay. put it together, and I added again a little bit of orange extract to it to make it good. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what? We're gonna wrap up because we got cookies coming and going all over this kitchen. When we come <laughs> back, you're gonna see plates and plates of cookies and ideas on how to package them for your freezer. We'll be right back. Just go to ctvn.org/at-home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right. No subscriptions, they're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. I tell you what, if you had the cameras rolling <laughs> while this while we've been oh away, goodness. we would have a number one best selling comedy. Because we've had a good time. Can you imagine getting all these cookies baked in our ovens to, so we can show them all to you? This has been such fun. Mary, tell us about, here's her biscottis. Oh, look at them. They are incredible. And you know what? Uh, we put the icing on them while they're hot. Like a glaze, huh? Oh, man, does that it make just the... just oozes down in them, Ooh, huh? makes the flavor really zip. On, mm -hmm. I mean, they're beautiful. She dips some in chocolate, some mm -hmm. with a regular glaze. She puts them in tins. Now, tell us, do we have to freeze? You don't have to freeze them. These last for a long time. So you could just put them in a tin, put them Ooh, in I your like cabinet. Or even keep in this them in kind a, of a box. Or in this one. <laughs> and you don't have to put them in the freezer. But you want to make sure you have something that seals tight. You see how this seals? It comes down and around. That, your worst enemy for freezing is air. Yes. So you have to keep the air out. So you want to do that, okay? Now, Missy, <laughs> these are the big, Ooh. look at these cookies. Ooh, they're delicious. They're huge. Oh, man. This will smell up your entire kitchen. Oh. I mean, the chocolate is incredible. And that makes a lot. A lot. Let me show you how you prepare them for freezing. You get a nice tin. Now, this is going to seal well, okay? You start with wax paper and you put a single layer 
and this between every layer. When you get to the top, you try to pick a, a tin that is the same size as the cookies you're going to do. You don't want a bunch of air at the top because that will dry them out, okay? So there they are. This makes seven And another hint pounds. is we put a piece of white bread in right. any container and it keeps the cookies soft. So they don't get hard like a rock. Oh, All, right. Cool. All right, these are the ones we didn't get to show you, but we're going to tell you about them because they're excellent. These are the old-fashioned molasses. We put them in this apothecary jar because this is a great gift idea. You can see how wonderful that is. I'd like to get that as a gift. Yeah, you? absolutely. <laughs> there they be are. Right. Well, I was going to put those other ones in the in a bowl for you. <laughs> yeah, really. The ones we showed at the beginning, that's the way she made them, but then she made them wrong. You have to be sure. Now, what's the changes in well, the... Well, I, I put a little bit more flour. And what the and recipe that you have. You have your, your newsletter. Go get it now and make these changes to this cookie. Add a little bit, maybe another quarter of a cup of flour, and make it the ball smaller. When you, it Not says walnut, walnut size, but go small. Like a marble, a little smaller and they turned out really good. And cute. 350 degrees. I, I lowered the timing okay. twice. They're awesome. fabulous. These will, you make these four cookies, you're gonna have a great Christmas. Uh -huh. And Miss Becky, what we got over Orange here? Orange cookies, and yeah. there's several ways to package them that up. Is. And you don't have to just necessarily use a cupcake holder just okay. for cupcakes. <laughs> so we have them here, we've packed them up as a gift. Thanks girls, thanks everybody, and thank oh. you for being with us. <laughs> be sure to join us on the next At Home for part two because it just wouldn't be the same without you. Merry Christmas everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.